Welcome back to Varnberg Implement and today we're here at the parts counter and we want to talk about something helping you maximize the life of your equipment and your investments. Many machines and implements especially round balers, square balers, combines and that stuff have chains on. Chains are something that needs to be maintained properly to get the most life out of them they're very economical to replace is one of the reasons we still use chains today on a lot of implements but you can get more out of that life of that chain by lubricating it properly some people will just pour oil on it um, that's probably better than nothing but it's probably not the best result the thing about chain lubrication is you've got to get the oil or lubricant in the right place the other thing is, is you don't want to use something that attracts dirt and dust. And that's one of the things we want to talk about is different products for different applications in a different scenario. Now, first thing we need to talk about is where does it need to lubricate? This is basically a section of chain. We've got the uh, two, we got three links here. We got the roller link and actually two regular links here but you can see that chain pivots right there on that link. This roller here, and we'll be able to see it better on this one, that roller is pressed in to these two sidebars. See that sidebar? You see that hole in there where that pin comes through? The lubrication needs to be where this pin and that roller meets to give it that is where your wear is going to get. If it starts wearing the diameter of this pin, it's going to create slop in your chain. Or if it starts wearing that roller inside of there, it's going to create slop. And that is where your chain is going to start wearing out. You're going to have to start resizing it, and you're going to have to start replacing it and spending money you didn't have to. So what we want to talk about is Agco Parts. Agco Parts is the official parts of Massey Ferguson. We've actually got two products. We've got a regular chain and cable lube, and we have a chain and cable lube with graphite. Why would you have two different products? Why isn't one good enough? Well, the ch regular chain and cable lube goes on foaming, it penetrates, it gets in there, and it dries up. The evaporant leaves where the graphite penetrates, foams up, gets into that into those pins and into the areas that it needs to be but when it evaporates it leaves a graphite residue to provide additional lubrication when you're in the field. What happens? Well if you're running like a planter this is probably not a good product because of the dirt it's got little sand particles and dirt particles and they can be abrasive. That's where the regular penetrating oil probably shines better is in ground engaging areas. Dirt, dust, hay fields. Yeah, you got chaff and stuff, but it's not gritty like a, uh, like a dirt environment. That's where the graphite stuff works a little bit better. It leaves that, resi that, oil, that graphite residue to penetrate longer. And we're going to do a little demonstration here and show you the two different products in action so that you can help find the best product. Um, you may want to buy both. If you've been into Varnberg Implement, you've probably seen this chain display. This is actually an old uh, coupler chain for an Oliver OU Hydropower. We've actually sprayed this and you can actually see that graphite residue still left on this side of the chain and you can see it you can feel it in the the links there that it's still got lubricant in there this is the side that we've used our traditional penetrating oil and what we're going to do is we're just going to spray the chain again you want to spray your links now one word of advice is right after you've used that machine while the chain is still warm is to spray your penetrating oil products on there We've sprayed this side with the traditional pin, uh, chain and cable lube from Agco Parts. Now you just want to spray that stuff all over there. You want it right on those bushings. 
that's where you want your stuff right on the edges of where those bushings are so it gets down in there you can put a little on the rollers that's going to protect from your tooth to your roller contact but if your chain is warm and it's been running a little bit it's going to penetrate a lot easier it's going to allow that stuff to get in and penetrate into those areas and lubricate better we'll just show you a sample here we got this chain link and a and a cross and we'll just spray some stuff there and see if it penetrates you can see how it's bubbling up there look at that yep we got uh, you can look in that hole and you can see that black stuff in there man you can feel it's a lot smoother on that end than that end that's because of the lubricant so when you're using chain lubes anything out here is a waste of time this isn't where your wears at it's in these thing you want to get it in that area so it foams up and gets in there and penetrates and man you can feel that already smoothing up that chain grab, grab one of my blue chop rags we've made a mess here on the parts counter but it was worth it to show you and help you learn about the different chain lube products I mean there's a lot of places you've got chain cables that run in your tractor back and forth you can use these products spray it in there work it back and forth allow that stuff to get in there and soak in and provide stuff that would be a really good place in the cable for graphite chain lube because it's going to penetrate and it's going to provide that graphite to, to allow that cable to slide back and forth and get more life out of them cables are expensive especially to replace I mean loaders got them levers got them there's a lot of places that you can use chain and cable lube you can even use it as a lubricant like on a spindle like on a deck spindle you can put a little bit of this and it doesn't require as much grease it's not going to track that dirt and dust um, any place you don't have grease irks and you need a little lubrication chain lube is a great product because it's going to leak it's going to penetrate it's going to lubricate and then you can either evaporate that stuff or leave a residue to make it last longer and provide better life i hope that helped you learn more about chain and cable lubes and why you should look at the professional products from agco parts anyway they built the the, the engineers that built the tractor are the same ones that endorse the official parts the genuine parts from agco parts They've helped design these products to get more life so you can do more, get more done, and get it done faster so you can enjoy the finer things in life. Thank you for tuning in to another informational series from Varnberg Implement. We hope that helps you learn a little bit more about the products we, we, we use in our own shop and we sell here in our parts department to help you do more and get more done with your equipment. If you're in West Central Missouri, come visit us at Varnberg Implement. We're just a little bit east of Kansas City, Missouri on Interstate 70 and 13 Highway. Just come four miles north to the first stoplight and you're right at our front door. Thank you and tune in next time.